morning and welcome back to another episode of Cougar TV. I'm Elena Africano. And I'm Janine Aquino. After... <sighs> TV! Outbreak! Turn on! Turn the TV on! There is an outbreak. Seems to be tied somehow to... Whatever you do, don't. Symptoms begin with nausea, fainting, and when they come to, they have... Whatever I do, don't what? Signal's too weak in the basement. I'll try to look it up. Let's get out of here. What? Why didn't you leave? There's somebody in the hallway. Not moving. The report says Naj is followed by fainting and something. Oh my gosh, what is happening? We just came in here to film an anchor. I don't feel well. I'll be fine. What do we do? We get out before, before whatever happens, happens. I believe. Oh my gosh, Mikey B. Leave them. Head for the upper floors. We'll see if we can get a signal in the computer lab. Go up. Wait. Maybe we can help them. Oh my gosh, what does it say? What does it say? It says, girls are less susceptible. Boys are more susceptible due to their Y chromosomes, and the older they get, the worse it is. Oh, that's why Mr. Phillips went down so quickly. It says it's a virus. What kind of virus? <sighs> it's a computer virus, spread by our phones. What are you doing? If we can get to the parking lot, we can get to my car and get out of here.
Before the virus spread, there was a general persuasion that technology was a means to an end for mankind, not the means to the end. Now we see further. Dim and wonderful is the vision I have conjured up in my mind of a world where technology improves our lives as human beings. But that is a remote dream. It may be that the destruction of the virus is only a reprieve. Perhaps the future is ordained to those who can see it. This is Dan Damkin signing off. God help us all. I miss your fellow so much down so quickly. If we can get to the You're good. He's like ready. Throw the shot. Okay, angle down then. Okay. Cut.